Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Kikon. Now the news in detail. The Party Gender Party on Sunday swept a Garbi Anglong Autonomous Council elections by winning all 26 seats. BJP National Vice President and Party in Charge of Assam, Bai Chayant J. Banda, in a tweet said, and I quote, It's a clean sweep for the BJP for Assam in the Garbi Anglong Autonomous Council by winning all 26 seats. Tremendous performance by the party under the guiding light of PM at Narendra Modi ji and able leadership of at Himanda Biswaji. And I quote, unquote, the Garbi Anglong Autonomous Council consists of 30 members, 26 of whom are elected and the four nominated with a view to provide representation to the minorities to constitute a considerable proportion of the total population of the subdivision. Earlier in April, the ruling party had recorded landslide win in Kohati Municipal Corporation elections by winning 58 of 60 seats. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had said that it was a resounding mandate to BJP in Assam. Rizor Jitiar Kisuman a Bibinor Gaurpra on Solvilago say Bibino Rizor Obhapu Bijukase E Obhapu Juk Black Judi Puron Mojudi Kurubo Pare Mo Asolko Mo Itia Joy to Titia Mokobo Pare Pasbos or Apana Kana Kamkora Pasbos or Hobo. Hi Aru Protomor Prabaja me Purikol Pona Kurlisuja a Pasbos or to Kanagar Kuria me Guti strategy bona who say itiar okolami kam kurubor it a haju asu aru jotesto rise Jenekar Bisarise, Ami a hundred percent di Borgane, Ami Sesta Kuris. Etiapuni Bizu, who he said, Kakak thanks the boss, especially. Especially my Amar Manonio, Rizor Mukomontri, Doctor Himonto Bisosurma, Tecator Moro Makirbate, Aji Iman Loge Aji. Okol yet bulletin or hoy, yet carbing long sabista homostir BGP zuntu rizal. It would give up by Suaro, Dito Amar, Rizikor, Hobaputi, Hobeskulita, Dangoria, Aro Logote, Carbian Long, Saito, Purikotor, Mukokarjo Behi, Manune Tuliram, Long Hang Dangoria, Logote, Rumur, Moromo Rice, No Mati Rice or Homostir, Murlogot, Karjokota, Hokolo, Modhinova, Dipo. The Eastern Naglan People's Organization held its first edition of ENPO Meritorious Awards 2022 for HSLC and HSSLC Examination 2022 today at Hotel Vivor in Kohima. Advisor Land Resources C.L. John, who is also the General Secretary of the Eastern Naglan Legislature, acknowledged the ENPO for the initiative and said that a celebration won't be possible without the achievers today. He encouraged the toppers to be humble people and to grow in strength and to contribute in ENPO in future. Become a nation, become a state, become a people, become a society. As it is now, why in view presented? Naidu, Naga, Manu, Nudo, Pandu, Prabhi, Biaza, Halebe, Isola, Nambra, Kasaniti, Ahabra, Aru, it will be said, Naga, political, so look, Takabra. In the one Dr. M. Longai Pom presented the background of the award. He said that the initiative is through the family of late Manko Pom, who had contributed immensely to the ENPO. Four students from the HSLC and two students from HSSLC were felicitated. Our 
Tabi Q Sangdam, President ENBO, presented the awards, while Reverend and Bomo Kemningan, Pastor Konyak Baptist Church, offered prayer for the awardees. I don't know what inspired him, but the only thing he had, uh, I think, to get out of the tough life is only ray of hope for a situation. And so, <coughs> he had to walk till Amguri. From Amguri to Rahat and Shilong, he reached Shilong. And he did this uh, 11, 12, and then those days PA used to study for two years. And then he did his uh, schooling in St. Edmunds, uh, Shilong. And then my dad used to say that during his studies in St. Edmunds, there was an Irish... In a shocking and unfortunate incident, two Indian Jawans of seven Karwal rifles from Uttarakhand reportedly went missing for 13 days in Arunachal Pradesh. The two Jawans, Naisk Bragash Singh and Lance Naik Harindra Singh, deployed in a forward post of Arunachal Pradesh, went missing on May 28. After 13 days of missing, reports today stated it is presumed the two missing Jawans have accidentally fallen into a fast-flowing river in close proximity to their post. The search operations are continuing for the last two weeks and the court of inquiry to investigate into the incident has been conve convened by the army. In a similar case, an Indian army from Mao, Manipur, who went missing on 8 June, was found dead after two days by the Punjab police somewhere in the border of Jalandhar and Lutiana. El Komo, aged 31 years from Kritzipi village, Manipur, went missing when he was on his way home on 7, 2022. Hornbill TV tried reaching out to the family of the late Jawan, yet could not until this report. Hornbill TV will bring more updates on the story. In the modern era, road connectivity is essential for the development of the area. Talking about road construction, just recently the National Highway Authority of India made it into the Guinness Book of World Records by building a 75 kilometer of bituminous concrete road in a single lane in 105 hours and 33 minutes between Amravati and Akola in Maharashtra. But sadly, the ground reality in Nagaland is grim. While National Highway Authority of India is breaking barriers and records, the people living in Bungro subdivision are breaking their backs, traveling through the roads present there. Bungro subdivision under Gifri district, which is known to be a tourist hotspot, is suffering from deplorable road condition. Even though Gifri district has been declared as an aspirational district on the quality infrastructural development site, especially roads, the condition is saddening and sadly the aspirational district is still waiting for aspiring to have roads. In this regard, the president of public forum Bungro subdivision, Gongsu, urged the government and concerned authorities to kindly look into the matter and hear their plight. I'm in Gongsu, president of public forum Bungro subdivision. Bungro is too free. Road Pia Hobra man is pushing the hill. Ijaman Yatibra 54 villages cover Pira Lagada Sase. Aro Ijia Aman left in Lagada Road to Saigina Piravuna Bari. Aro if you stop Naga Kalmibra, Taurus Lagatur Sakadi Ase. Aro if you Hornim Bra, Pishi Sal Bra, Aman Logo, you repair it. If you angels permit my country, Aman the Penny Kutaka Nabari with the Hitibra. If you only do set Corbin Brad Naval National Assembly member, it is Corbin Brad, it is Council Department of all of Prash Gunnar Soldi, Penadilio Hobonichi Blade Janet. In an incident of cybercrime committed by Pakistan based hacking group identified as Revolution PK, the YouTube account of Time 8, the pioneer digital news channel of Assam, was last week hacked during a live stream which replaced the news broadcast with a Pakistani flag and ran. Respect Holly Prophet tickers on June 9. 
Time Aid News is a digital net news network of Assam with more than 7 million followers on different social media platforms and average monthly video views of over 600 million. On June 9, during a live news stream, Time Aid's transmission was disturbed and while a breaking news segment was on air, the screen was replaced with Pakistan's flag and a hymn running in the background saying praises for Prophet Muhammad. The ticker of the live screen was also replaced with Respect Holy Prophet text highlighting the recent incident. Hackers ने कोशिश की टाइमेट के लाइव ब्रॉडकास्ट को YouTube पर हैक करके और पैगंबर मोहम्मद के बारे में प्रेज़ेज चलाने का और पाकिस्तानी फ्लैग्स को दिखाने का यह एक बहुत ही कायराना हरकत है डिसीजन को वार्डली एक्ट एंड एक्ट ऑफ साइबर टेररिज्म यह दिखाता है पाकिस्तानी और पाकिस्तानी जनता की मानसिक दिवालियापन को आप सोचें कि पैगंबर मोहम्मद के बारे में उनकी प्रशंसा के बारे में आपको किसी एक चैनल को हैक करने की जरूरत पड़ रही है हम इसकी कठोर और कड़े शब्दों में निंदा करते हैं हमने गुवाहाटी पुलिस के साथ एक शिकायत को साझा किया है और उम्मीद है और उनसे अनुरोध भी किया है कि इस मामले में जो भी जरूरी कार्रवाई है वो करें और पाकिस्तान को और उसकी इस तरह की कायराना हरकत को सख्त जवाब दिया जाए उत्पल गंदा फाउंडर एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एडिटर ऑफ टाइम एट डिजिटल न्यूज नेटवर्क सेट एंड आई कोट द सेल्फ क्लेम्ड पाकिस्तानी हैकर ग्रुप रेवोल्यूशन पी के ब्रीफली हैकड टाइम एट यूट्यूब चैनल ड्यूरिंग द लाइव स्ट्रीम and replaced the news broadcast with the Pakistani flag and ran Respect Holy Prophet Tigers. This is an act of cyber terrorism and we condemn the incident in the strongest words and also express our concern over the matter which relates to national security." Unquote. It's been found that hackers not only intended to illegally express their religious views on the channel but also intended to defame the channel and India as they leaked the hacked part of videos on Twitter and Facebook and Pakistani Twitter users expressed their joy by tweeting in favor of Revolution PK and loading them for hacking our channel Time 8 Kanda for the edit. Amid heavy security presence, massive eviction drives is underway at White Tower protected area in Taubal district of Manipur. For the last couple of days, heavy security presence could be seen in the area and there were also reports of agitation from local people. However, no untoward incident have been reported. Speaking to Hornbill TV, District Forest Officer T.H. Lokendra said around 180 number of houses are identified as encroachers of which 69 will be evicted today itself. DFO said that the eviction process has started after serving continuous showcase notifications to the encroachers in the year 2015, 2018 and again this year. According to DFO, Lokendra the undergoing eviction is from ITI Lilong to Waitau Kongang Karak. of this month and that they have been asked to remove their belongings by 5 p.m. of 11, then it's yesterday. And uh, most of them have, uh, I mean, voluntarily removed their houses. So we have used uh, machineries like the CVs and uh, we, have start, we have started evicting them. And we have used uh, two proclaims and seven numbers of adjustments. Right now we are, we are evicting, the process is continuing. 
Meanwhile, local people expressed their displeasure at the way authorities served notification just two days back and their houses got dismantled so soon. Affected local people said they are living in the areas for a long time, holding legal documents provided by the district authority. <laughs> The authorities maintained that once the area comes under protected forest, inhabitants will be treated as encroachers. As such, holding of land pata cannot be an excuse. In fact, authorities even mentioned that encroachers have to pay fine to the forest department if they cause damage to the forest resources. That's all we have for now. For more news, keep watching Hornbill TV.